All right, here we are at the Muttering Codger. We often see videos where people are clearing this with a dagger comp or a mixed comp. We are going for the full wind swag clear here. Uh, so the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use a lot of uh, multi AOE hits and single target hits here. So Raging Tornadoes, random target, three hit, shreds, win. We got Slicing Winds is four, uh, random target. Ventus is actually AOE three hit, but because we have Richard uh, giving a buff, Mabel giving two buffs, uh, an A4, two A4s giving buffs, a body piece and a head piece giving buffs. We actually have triggered Marine Wisdom 1. You can tell because of the little orbs that are swirling around. Uh, and then this is just four more hits. So that is a whopping 15 hits. If I'm, not, if I'm not incorrect on my math, but I believe it's 15 hits, which is crazy. He's going to do Light Slam at the end of his turn and then get broken on the next turn. That single repeated Aria has guaranteed the three turn if I am not uh, if my math is correct, which I believe it is, I was just short on my last attempt uh, without a single um, repeated aria. So the math works out here. That's eight. So when Odette goes, we can actually just tornado four here. And then the slicing winds and the tornado four will be at full boost. Um, the other thing that I can do here to guarantee it is I could use her ult because I have put august a4 here but i actually want to see what happens without doing that so i'll be charging the ult as if uh it wasn't already charged but i do actually have that accessory because it's the only way i can give her enough e attack it has 70 e attack on it so i'm not using it for that purpose although that would definitely guarantee it but i'm not really i didn't use it to abuse the ult uh, i i did that uh to set up her E attack to do enough damage. So this is a guaranteed uh, clear. We actually just switch this to four uh, and then we just max boost and we are good to go. Any Arias make this laughably done, but that is Sophia EX absolutely bodying wind damage. Uh, and as you see, she actually is doing a little bit more than. Odette, but then look at that damage from Tiki. That is insane. Uh, so there you have it. Three turns. Muttering Codger. We did it. Slamming down with some wonderful stuff. And you'll notice that even though I used August A4, I didn't abuse it uh, for the ult because that wasn't the design of the Kalir. Uh, what I was trying to do there was get enough shields broken. Uh, but I did need uh, a bit of help in the... Uh, magic attack department for Odette to keep her up. So I do have some pretty broken A4s on Sophia and Odette. I have 9S goggles, which is 80 E attack and 60 speed on Sophia. I have Playwright's Quill, which is August A4, which is 70 E attack, and you have your ult on turn one. So the 70 E attack is just a stat stick there. Um, but it's a pretty good one. Dancer's Shoes is uh, some speed and about 60 E attack, which is just stacking it up. Tiki is just powered up by Wind Rune and her own accessory. Um, to make Harley fast enough, I did cheese and use Therion's A4 uh, and a Wind Rune 3 for a little bit extra damage. But his damage is somewhat inconsequential even with a Fortune fan just because he's level 84 and a 0. And then, you know, you could just use two speed accessories and pretty much get the same thing out of it. But you'll need some pretty nice accessories on Sophia Odette or just get lucky on a couple of uh, casts. The point of this is to highlight how strong Sophia is and how strong Tequilin is. So I hope you enjoyed that clear. Thank you and have a great day. Please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.